guys! So today I bring you a book haul and updates. So I haven't done a book haul in a while. So basically starting from Christmas up until now, I've acquired some books that I'm going to talk about. One of these is a Christmas present. One of them I bought back in February. And um, a bunch are from, I went on a trip to Portland this week and I went to Powell's bookstore in Portland and bought a bunch of books. So I'm just going to be going over all of those books that I've gotten in the past few months. So I've actually already hauled this book. This is Mr. Penumbra's 24-Hour Bookstore by Robin Sloan. I held this back in July because that's when I got it, but I haven't started reading it until now. I just started. It's supposed to be my spring break read. I might not finish it. I've been kind of busy, but I wanted to talk about it just because this is what I'm currently reading. I'm actually liking it so far. It's not quite as um, gripping as I thought it would be. I'm, I don't know. I'm not quite as pulled in as I thought, but it's starting to get better. I mean, I'm really not that far into it. It's starting to get better as I keep going, and it's really interesting. The writing is really well done. It's written very beautifully, and I really connect with the characters. But yeah, I just wanted to mention this because this is my current read of the moment. This is kind of a random book I got for Christmas from my grandpa, and it is called Claire of the Sea Light by, I'm not going to try to pronounce the author's name, but you can see the name. Um, yeah, this is interesting. It takes place in Haiti, I believe. And it's about this girl who goes missing and you kind of, I guess it's a mystery, you kind of see the town trying to find this girl. Um, I don't know a whole lot about it. I haven't started it yet. I will get to it at some point, I promise. It's an adult book. It's not young adult or new adult, so it's not really the genre that I normally read. But I'm excited about it because apparently this author is a really good author, so. The book I got back in February, and actually I've already finished this book, so it's kind of weird that I'm doing a haul about it, but that's Ferris by Marissa Meyer. I got this the day it came out. I was super excited because I love the Lunar Chronicles so much. I can't wait for winter to come out in, I think it comes out in November. It's sometime in the fall. I cannot wait. And so I bought this because I like, I need this. It was like 20 something dollars, which is like, I don't pay that much for books normally and it's very small but I was like you know this is Marissa Meyer and this is the Lunar Chronicles and I need to buy this so I did and here it is um I loved it I believe I gave it five stars on Goodreads because I'm thinking back now and it's a five star book it was so so good usually you see the novellas that are kind of like I don't know tag along books to these big series they aren't really as good or as well developed but this was done really really well I was so excited to read. It's about Lavana. So it's about Lavana's point of view. Um, and her, it's like starts when she's 15, 14 or 15, and kind of goes through her life up until, not up until she meets Cinder, but like pretty far into her life. You see kind of her motives for how she behaves in the books. Um, it's really interesting. You really understand Lavana. It's like you you still kind of hate her, but you really understand her, and you see where her evil comes from, and you're really, like, surprised, and, like, you understand her as a person and as a character, which makes her, as a villain, so much better because you understand her motives, and it's it's so good. I read this in, like, a sitting, partially because it's very short, but usually it takes me a while to get through books, so it was really good. If you've read The Lunar Chronicles, definitely read this. It's definitely worth your while. If you haven't read The, the Lunar Chronicles, go read them right now. Okay, now I'm going to get into the books that I got in Portland. So I went to um, Portland for spring break just as kind of a fun trip. I live in the Pacific Northwest and I've never actually been to Portland. Um, and I love Seattle and a lot of people say it's like Seattle but very different and there's kind of this weird rivalry going on and so um, a lot of my friends suggested that I go to Portland and so I went to kind of see what it's like and I really really enjoyed it and while I was there I knew I needed to go to Powell's because that is apparently the largest bookstore in the world and um, has used and new books and everything. And yeah, I went there and I limited myself to four books even though I probably would have gotten a lot more partially because like, I didn't want to spend like a billion dollars and because I flew there and I was like well I can't like take a billion pounds worth of books back with me on the plane because I just have my carry-on and so I was like I can't take all the books so I got four books and yeah so the first book I got was 1984 by George Orwell Orwell yes okay and um I know I've been wanting to read this for a really long time I read Animal Farm by George Orwell back in like seventh grade I was really young and I really liked that and it was very easy to get through like it wasn't 
like difficult like a lot of classics are and so I know that I already like George Orwell and I've heard great things about 1984. It's basically kind of the dawn of the dystopian novel and since I love dystopian novels and uh, three of my books are dystopian novels. I was like, I should just buy this and read it. So I've been wanting to get it for a long time and I just haven't. And I saw it there and I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy it. So I'm excited about this. Next, I got Paper Towns by John Green. So I read The Fall in Our Stars over the summer. I really liked that. And I've actually heard a lot of people say they liked Paper Towns better. And um, I'm really excited. Also, my mom was with me and she really wanted to read this too. So we're like, you know, we'll just get this and share it. Um, I don't know. The... The synopsis part is kind of vague. I don't know, it's like a romance, I'm assuming, and some confusing thing. But, I mean, I'm sure you've heard of John Green and of this book and know what it's about. Or at least know that it's amazing, I'm sure, because everyone says so. But yeah, I'm excited to read this because I like The Fault in Our Stars and John Green is an amazing author. Also, I think this is going to be a movie, maybe? Or is that one of his others? It might be this one. I don't know. Next, I got Ready Player One by Ernest Cline, and I have been wanting to read this for a really, really long time. Um, it just sounds really cool. It's it's an interesting premise. It's kind of video game related. The synopsis is vague, but basically, like this teenage boy spends a lot of his time in this virtual utopia known as the Oasis, and basically, it's kind of. I mean, it's kind of like he spends his time in like a video game, but then it becomes super competitive. And like, I don't know, it says like players are willing to kill to take the ultimate prize. It sounds really cool because, you know, video game stuff is really awesome. It's very like digital and um, very sci-fi and cool. And I love the cover. The cover is so, so cool. And it has amazing reviews. I've heard so many people say great things about this. So I will be reading this at some point. This is probably one of the ones I'm most excited for. This one and then the next one I'm going to show you are the two I'm the most excited about. And the last book I got was Girl Online by Zoe Sugg. So this was kind of a random buy for me. I just heard about this book like a week or two ago and I read the premise for it and I decided that I needed to get it because it sounds super duper amazing. It's written by um, this YouTuber known as like Zoella on YouTube. If you can see her picture right there. I've watched a few of her videos. I think she does like um, he says you're a fashion and beauty vlogger, which I don't watch a lot of those, but I've watched hers a few times. And it basically follows this girl, Penny, who does lots of vlogging online, just about her life. So just kind of everyday things that teenage girls um, go through, but it also kind of about her anxiety that she's starting to deal with. And so she vlogs about that. And there's also lots of romance and stuff in the book. And it's really, it really sounded interesting to me because I like you know, do a lot of vlogging and YouTubing and stuff online. So I thought I would relate to the character a lot. And so I'm really excited about this. I really hope I like it. Um, and the cover's adorable. Look at the cover. And like, the polka dots. Super cute. So yes, this was my book haul. If you like this video, please hit like. And you could also subscribe. That would be cool. If you're an author, I also blog over at paulinezharris.wordpress.com where I talk about um, sort of publishing like tips and explanations. Thank you so much for watching.